directly come dancing ace Diane Boswell raised eyebrows when she flew to the other side of the world at Christmas to be with family in Australia, and Bojo Sugg wasn't with her. The 33-year-old solo trip coincided with a period of almost three months when the pair weren't pictured together on social media, but she has now opened up on the matter, insisting they are still together. Diane, who kicked off the much-awaited Strictly Live tour last weekend in Birmingham, and will move to Nottingham for tomorrow's show, has cleared the air over the claims by explaining that Joe has been exceptionally busy. Addressing her Christmas apart from Joe, she added that she tries, not to, even worry about anything that's being said, on social media. It's very rare I get to see my family so I want to go and make the most of it and that's what I did," she clarified. The speculation, comes from a good place, but I go home and see my family and don't even worry about, it. She confirmed that Joe will be attending a few of the shows on the Strictly tour, which began last Friday in Birmingham and ends on February 12th in Glasgow. However, on many of the nights when she reunites with 2022 dance partner Tyler West to show off her moves, her boyfriend will be nowhere to be seen. Has really busy with work as well, but, whenever he can help come to watch, she reasoned. Joe, an accomplished dancer himself, originally met his partner when they danced together on the 2018 series of Strictly. The pair had been almost inseparable ever since, but their recent stint spent apart gave cause for concern. Diane has had no regrets about being solo, posting on Instagram that she was extremely grateful to have spent Christmas with her family. On Christmas Eve, she shared some of the magic she felt being back in Western Australia, explaining, Both my brothers have always been legends to me. Growing up with both of them I felt like the luckiest little sister, sick, she gushed. Dot the red-headed beauty even admitted she'd been in tears of joy spending time with her nieces and nephews, whom she rarely sees due to the intense nature of her work schedule. She had also joked that she needed to practice her Australian accent, which was a little rusty after all her time in the UK. Besides rehearsing for the Strictly tour and visiting her family, Diane has also been busy putting the finishing touches on her new book, Move Yourself Happy. The title, which promises to talk fans through making joyful movement, has been a passion project for the star. She insisted to the Sunday Post that the book has nothing to do with burning calories, or, losing weight. Instead, the focus is on exercising in a way that makes the public happier, including her tips for impromptu 5-minute discos. Meanwhile, fans will be voting by text to make a decision on who will take the glitter ball trophy after each Strictly tour show. The judges, although present, will not be having the final say, 